Hi everyone. Today we're going to work on our tints and shade painting. Remember that this one is just the same way you're going to do it, but it's not the same theme. This one is a landscape. Um, you're doing an ocean scene. So when you finish drawing your design, then you can come up to the paint counter and get your paint. I'm going to give you your paint on a magazine <coughs> because it's easy cleanup. So when you come up there, I will give you um, a color of your choice. So here I'm going to do blue. And then I'm also going to give you some white. And eventually you can come back and get the black when you're ready for um, that last part. But first we'll start with the tints. So what you're going to do is with your paintbrush, scoop up one scoop, one brushful of color, and mix it with your white. And you're, what you're doing is mixing that first section, that tint that's going to go in the first, the top um, area. It's the lightest tint that you'll have. That's why you only need one scoop of color. And make sure when you're mixing it to mix it thoroughly so you don't have any streaks. So this is pretty much enough to fill that area. You're just going to paint this whole area with that light tint. And then when you get down to the line, what I want you to do is turn your paper so that your paintbrush is pointed toward the, that edge that you're painting. because that will allow you to get a nice smooth edge instead of a rough edge. Also, when you're painting, you wanna hold your paintbrush down toward the bottom of it, where, like right next to the bristles, um, not way out here. So you're gonna finish painting that area, and then once you're finished with that, move on to the next tint, which will be a little bit darker. It's okay if you get a little paint on the table, that's why we have sponges. For the next tint, that's this area, you're gonna take another scoop of color and mix it with the last tint that you used. And remember to mix it thoroughly. Mix it all together so there's no more streaks. So it's all one color. And that should be darker than the last one you used. I'm going to point my paintbrush toward that edge so I can get a nice smooth line and just fill in this space. Make sure when you're painting you're spreading the paint out so it's nice and even, you don't have any blobs of paint. And then when you get down to any detailed areas, you can um, use a smaller brush to get into those tight spots. Then with, for the next space, which would be this one, you're gonna mix another tint, a darker tint. So take another scoop of your color and mix it with that last tint that you were using to make it a little darker. And if it doesn't seem dark enough, then go ahead and add a little bit more color. You'll know when you start painting with it, if it's not darker than the last section, then you'll want to add some more color. And that looks a lot darker, so that's good. I'm going to paint the edge of the fish, so I'm going to turn my paper. It's okay to turn your paper as you're working. Probably use a smaller brush there. So that this whole area gets this, and like this in here, gets this tint. The next area, which is the bottom, is going to get pure color. So don't mix with anything. Just go ahead and paint 
the um, color that comes right out of the bottle. So that's this whole area. And then you'll be ready for the um, shade. And so you'll come back up to the paint counter and I'll give you a tad bit of black. And you really do not need a lot because if you use too much black, it'll look, the when you mix it with the color, it'll look like black. So just take a tiny bit and mix it with your color and it should look like a darker version of that. And then that is what you will paint. That color is what you will paint your animal, your sea animal. I have the eye drawn there. So you can either paint around it or just paint over it. And then once your paint dries, paint on top of it with one of the lighter tints. So the whole fish would be that dark color. And then I'm going to use this tint for the eye. And then once you finish painting all the sections, you're done. You can put it on the drying rack.